It's good, everybody. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the 411 Talk Zone radio show. I am your host, Leon Jones. It is Saturday, August the 27th, 2016. You can catch me on Blog Talk Radio every Saturday from 12 to 2. Call in number is 215 383 5785. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show channel, so I can continue to bring the best content that YouTube has to offer for educational purposes. You can also give me a suggestion of any topic that you would like for me to talk about by emailing me at lej6521 at gmail.com. Remember to keep all of your topics pithy bloviating if you wish to apply also if you like my content you know what to do give me a thumbs up if you don't give me a thumbs down if you're going to leave a comment stay on point I do not answer to trolls nor do I debate my inferior if you have an issue with what I say, don't watch my video. Moving on to the topic, I'm going to talk to you about the grass not being greener on the other side, and it refers to interracial dating. Now, there have been videos that have been circulating all week. I'm not going to give her any publicity but everybody know who she is also everybody knows of the movement that's taking place the boy town movement i'm not going to call out any names because again i'm not giving anybody any publicity but i'm going to say this when i saw her video and her crying like the victim telling brothers that we haven't defended her it was very satisfying because she tried to tell sisters in book form and on her uh, YouTube channel and her website that the other side is better and then you have another movement the Wake Town movement who says we can't do anything without the black woman and we are worried and you have some of the brothers going out here saying that a Caucasian woman is better now I'm going to try to tie three issues into one and keep this video maybe about 20-25 minutes because I have a blog talk radio show to do so let me try to mince these items. I'm going to tell you this. If you're going to go interracial dating, that's fine. And as a black man, yes, we have failed in our aspects, but we can own up to it. Modern day black woman is not going to own up. She's not going to tell, tell the truth. She's going to vent like everything is our fault. I'll give an example. If she has a child, when a child makes honorable, I did it by myself. When a child's in jail, it's the father's fault. We've heard that. We've heard the solace of being barraged by national media from Sally, Jesse, Raphael, Ricky Lake, Tempest Bledsoe, Rolanda Watts, Donahue, Oprah, Jenny Jones, to name a few back in the 90s we got you so when we come out with content on YouTube now we're bashing after a while you get sick of being kicked and all these fallacies thrown at you and everybody's looking at black man like we mean nothing because the modern day black woman has gone out and told all the media outlets that we're nothing. And they still believe that. 
And then we're told when we have an issue with a modern day black woman, let me give you a definition of what I mean by modern day woman. It's one who takes up a feminist ideology, who believes in the matriarchal mindset. I can do it without a man. And I'm not talking about the widow. Talk about ones who really don't believe in having a family, having a man in their lives. They're misandrists. You know, it's one thing you never see a number of us brothers say, we don't need a woman. Are they misogynists out there? Yes. But when you have a preference and you're going out there trying to solidify everybody else to buy into your preference, and they do it, it's not going to always work. My preference is voluptuous women, large women. And I make that very clear. But I'm not going to write a book about it, tell everybody to go do what I do. Because if I jumped off a bridge, would you jump off a bridge? If you are going to do that, you're crazy. But what has steered me into watching these videos is this white guy, the veganator, okay? She was invited on to the Google Hangout where this young lady was talking about her interracial dating. And he said he doesn't date interracially. That's all he said. He said he's part of MGTOW. And she got upset. She started crying. Now, there was a brother, and I'm subscribed to his channel. Don't have anything against brother Angel Ramirez. I believe he's a good brother. I mean, he felt hurt. He came to a rescue. But where I'm trying to draw my conclusions is that where do some of these uh, modern-day sisters get off by saying that we can't do without them or we're worried. The only black men that are probably worried are the ones in jail who can't get free because of the acts of violence that they've committed. And I said in one of my videos, brothers, don't be a criminal. Don't be a criminal. You're not good at it. This is why you're behind those bars. But sisters pick these brothers. They procreate with these brothers. And then when these brothers don't do the job, they look at all black men as ineffective. And they go over to the white man. But let me tell you something about dealing with white men, first of all. They got a dark side. They got fetishes of their own. This is where all that deviant behavior came from. They're not what you think and who you think they are. And I'd caution you, when you get around some of these white men, um, there have been videos I've seen where sisters had a child by a white supremacist. And brothers, this white woman, she can be a snake. She's got everything on her side. And she knows the system better than anybody. Who taught her the system? She's there to keep the dominance and report back to her man. But she's the one that was the founder of white feminism. And this is what I don't understand. So I need some sisters to explain this to me. Since we didn't have any power... Why would you be involved with white feminism? What has that done? It's divided us. I mean, we're just sitting around blaming one another. And then we have both genders running over to white people for validation. And we're taking all the time and energy when we could be here for each other. Again, I don't bash black women. I keep everything fair and balanced. So whenever you hear me mention 
modern day black woman, I'm gonna mention the modern day black man. It must be fair, that's where the truth is. I'm trying to get you to the truth. I'm not biased. So please, if you have a problem with my content, don't watch my content. But it does present a problem when this one sister who had a baby out of wedlock is subscribing to the white man. And I look at some of the brothers who subscribe to a white woman. Tay Diggs, RG3, the quarterback. Now for the Cleveland Browns, he's getting a divorce. Russell Wilson. Um, Tiger Woods. Well, married to white women. And what happened? They put the knife in their back. They want a half. If you look at the family that prays, Brother Angry Man, shout out to him. He had a clip on with Sanaya Lathan. When she was talking down to her black husband, but had a child from an affair with a white man, the brother took care of that child as if were his. And she thought that she was going to build with that white man. That white man wasn't leaving his wife. You know why? It's a lot invested. He wasn't going to give up his earnings. Not for you. He was not going to walk around with his colleagues with you on his arm. Just because he sleeps with you. Look at scandal. White men just don't leave like that. And I want to caution all the swirlers out there. Black men and black women. I'm not saying you can't find love from another race. But you have to start questioning the other race of people you're dating. What is their agenda? Because I know with a number of white women out there, it's a fetish for them to be with a black man because he, in her eyes, has a big penis. I don't know where this information has come from. And for the black woman, yours fetish. And to the wig towel movement, You don't have options when it comes to dating. We're the only ones that are going to put up with you. We're going to accept you even if you have somebody else's seed for the most part. If you go over to any other race of men, especially if they have money and power, here's the problem. You're going to have to bring more to the table than just your vagina. So you can get away with that with us. And we'll accept you. And particularly in the white community, you have to be able to compete. And modern day black woman doesn't want to compete. She believes we need to accept her as is. Weave, tattoos, attitude, babies out of wedlock. We have to hear every day, I'm independent, I need no man. We hear all that. We got that. Okay, that record has been run through for the last 30 years. But for you to say, Wigtow Movement, that we can't exist without you, let me tell you one thing. It took that man seed for that egg to be fertilized for us to come from you anyway. You can't have a child without the seed. But nobody ever talks about that. And you ranting and raving about how you don't like us. Now, when I hear brothers say they don't like black women, I question them too. I said, well, what are you bringing to the table, brother? Check your attitude. What are you asking from the woman? If you're asking... For something that's unrealistic that you're not willing to bring to the table, there's a problem. You have to be realistic. And you have to have morals and values. I still look at black women and Latino women 
some most classy women out there. And the ones I'm talking about are the individuals who have modern day thinking, the feminist type of thinking. And the reason why a number of your sisters out there, and I want to talk to the Wake Town movement, why you're not getting the men you want, because you want a matriarchal type of community. You want to run everything. And you believe you can do it. And you believe that you have to be the captain. Stuff is out of order. If you allow us to do something and appreciate it, we'll stay. The number of you sisters left us for government benefits in the 1970s, and it's been cyclical after that. So I have to go back to when it all started. Got on board with white feminism. And some of you brothers out there, you think you got a blind queen, she's not going to do you any good anyway because at the end of the day, once she's finished with you, she's, as long as she doesn't have a baby with you, she's going to go back to a white man because she knows that he can provide her with more than what you can provide her. You can give her some sex, but American women today are commodities. It's about money with them. We've been told you have to have a good job, make a lot of money to be with a woman. Modern woman is not a loving type of woman. It's about what we can do for her. And a black woman. You're going to have to bring more to the table to that white man. See, now you're not going to go over there to that white community and start with the attitude. In fact, uh, some of you have clear-cut cohesion and your sentence structure, your diction when you go over there, you sound like valley girls. Now that's just the opposite of some of the white chicks coming over to the black community talking hood. I don't like that either. That's phony. But that white man, he doesn't want to be seen in public with you. He wants to see, be seen behind closed doors with you. You look at scandal. You look at the family that prays. And to try to make everything such that the white man likes the black woman, they're putting more and more relationships with white man, black women on TV. First of all, you got to get out of the idiot box. This is why I don't watch TV. I listen to talk radio. You also have to be careful what you're taking in college. And I'm giving you these solutions so you can be a better thinker, modern day black woman, modern day black man. Then you don't have to have a MGTOW movement or a Bwigtow movement. You don't have to write books. Look, if you prefer to date interracially, that's fine. That's your preference. But stop telling us that we're scared and we're making all this. All that shaming language is funny to me because that's what it is. It's ranting. It's emotion. It has no content to it. And it was funny when I saw this young lady. We all know her name. She's crying and telling us, oh, we didn't come defend her. Of course we're not going to come defend her. You threw us under the bus. You don't deserve our defense. And then you, you get this other sister in the Wake Tower movement saying, you defended us? How are you going to defend us when you call the cops on us most of the time and have us locked up? You call the man that you want to be with on us, but then you say it's our fault. This is the problem with a number of your modern day sisters. You don't take responsibility, you don't take criticism, and you hate the truth. But you find some way to try to interpret the language to benefit you. And I'm not bashing, but I bet you I'm going to get some comments that I'm bashing black women. I don't bash black women. You don't hear cursing coming out of my mouth. I'm talking to you very intelligently. In fact, I don't debate individuals who are intellectually inferior. You got to come up to my level. I'll read. I'll research every day. And some of you modern day sisters in the Wake Town movement, you don't want black men. What I believe some of you want to do is go and have fun with the white man and then have us wait for you when you come back. 
And I believe that's what the white woman does too. You know, you get in that moment of, okay, I want to date white men. I want to date white women. To me, this interracial dating has always been there. It's just that it was under the radar. It's more accepted now, but it's not a big deal. It's not an accomplishment. And if you're going to do it, don't throw it in a black man's face and don't throw it in a black woman's face because that's what the problem is. Because all you're getting is more and more nonsense when you date interracial because individuals are only looking at the person because they're white. Let's just be honest. There's a lot of myths and stereotypes to it, and that's what individuals are going after. Oh, well, myth that has a big penis. Oh, myth that has money. Look, I did two videos a couple days ago. 21 truths that black people don't want to hear and 21 truths that white people don't want to hear. I kept it fair and balanced and I'm keeping this video fair and balanced. Listen. What individuals got to learn to do is grow up. If you're not going to be civil to one another, take your toys and go home. Because everybody gets up here on YouTube and I understand what some of the brothers are saying because we're trying to do the right thing. But if you don't want good brothers, what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to sit here and take you knocking us all the time just like sisters don't want us knocking you? And then you think the white man is better? You think the man that had us in chains is going to give you what you want? No, he's giving you chips, government programs. He doesn't want to see us progress. In fact, he uses lines in this modern day black woman to divide and conquer us. And this is why it comes to the effect that the modern day black woman is the white arm of white supremacy because he taught her. And you think you're going to go to an Asian man? That Asian man doesn't want you either. So what I'm suggesting everybody to do is step back and start thinking. You see, I don't go in on people with, with a harsh style, but I will go on somebody intellectually. And that's all I'm doing. And I'm giving you the balance. That's why if you come to my content, I'm talking about modern day black men and black women. And the reason why we'll never have a community it's because we don't want one. We have two diametrically different views of what we want and how the community is to run. A number of modern day black women, they want matriarchy. Brothers, they want patriarchy, but if you look at both parties, they they don't want to do the work. If you're going to be at the head of the table, brothers, you must be responsible for what you do and take accountability. And ladies, modern black women, you're never going to be at the head of the table with matriarchy, with patriarchal benefits. In other words, we're not going to bring you the bacon. We're not going to bring you the responsibility we're not going to date you and wine and dine you and treat you like queens. Because that's infrastructure maintaining and building. And you run it, it's never going to happen. Because you don't know how the infrastructure was engineered in the first place. But it's clear to me that a number of modern day black women, they want to be the queen from the bottom up. They want to proclaim themselves as queens because they're taking care of children by themselves. Well, you put yourself in that position by messing with Pookie and Ray Ray. As you tell us modern day black women, date better. Stop looking to run the relationship because that's what is happening. It's easy to date down to get somebody below you so you can dictate the relationship because that's what you're doing. We've seen that. But nobody wants to speak about it because they're afraid of offending. I'm not politically correct, because that's what's going on. And it's going to continue to go on. 
black men, you wake yourselves up, you stay out of jail, you understand? Don't be a criminal. And I said that in my video, don't be a criminal. You're not good at it. Because then your sister's going to look at you And then she's going to tell everybody how screwed up you are, but she's going to pick you. That's what she does. She's going to pick you anyway because you're lower than her and you can do what she wants. And she can always tell you if you don't like what she's doing, you can get out. This is why she picks you. Brothers, you got to step your game up as well. And I'm just telling the wig towel movement. I'm telling a young lady, I'm not going to mention her name, who's on YouTube and the brothers. Going over to the white man is not going to give you any long-term solutions. Might give you something in the short term. Now, you might get lucky like Eve did, but that very rarely happens. If you are a sister or a brother and you got multiple kids and you're trying to date interracially, they don't want to deal with the black family because if you're coming from a single parent household, particularly a mother who's ratchet, oh, they don't want to deal with that. They don't know how to check that behavior. We know how to check it. But if you're looking to captivate a good relationship, you have to want to be married because I know this young lady from the Wake Town movie said, we don't want to get married. I said, what? Well, we're not going to marry you if you're not wife material. Number of your sisters today don't want to get married because you'd rather go for the welfare, the benefits, because the number of your sisters don't want to compete, but you expect us to accept you as is. Baby mama, weave, tattoos, attitude, and I love my voluptuous woman. But you want us to accept you when you look out of shape. You're not appealing. You're wearing different color hair. You're fighting. You get violent. We're not accepting that behavior. This is why I was always told, get myself together. My options will be better. Now, I'm not discouraging anybody from having interracial relationships. But your sisters, you keep giving this white man power. Never even heard of the veganator. But you've given him power, and he's mocking you. And I don't like to see that. But the young lady who decided that getting a white man and requiring every black woman to get a white man because it's better because she got a white man. The white man accepted her with a child. Well, she got lucky as well because when you date in a race black men and black women, you don't get the top flight white man or white women. You usually get the bottom of the barrel. I've seen a number of the black women get the simp white men and the brothers get the trash white women. In other words, you get individuals that the top flight black, uh, the top flight white men and white women don't want and you think you're doing something. You're not going to get far thinking that dating a white man or white woman is going to create happiness. Because I believe that a number of interracial marriages or relationships are based on myths and stereotypes. I do. Because it's what you hear in the media. And what we have to do is, again, black men and black women start getting more in depth about interracial dating. Understand the challenges and the constraints of it. Because I did a video on interracial dating. 
And if you're going to do it, don't down your own race. Because that's what's a big problem. You're down in your own race for people that really don't like you. They mock you. They want you for sex. That's it. And for the Wake Town movement, if you're going to have a movement, know what your objective is, be organized and well financed. You don't even know who your leadership is. You don't even know who your patrons are. Because you got to collect dues, you need advertising. But I'm going to tell you something, that movement's going nowhere. The reason why it's going nowhere is because you left us a long time ago, some of you, for white feminism. Just remember, grass is not greener on the other side. I've given you my explanation. At the end of the day, you have to make up your own mind because it's your life. I'm your host, Leon Jones. I thank you for listening to this edition of the 401 Talk Zone radio show on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe to my videos. I'm not here to bash. It's not how I go. I'm trying to give you the best content on YouTube for educational purposes from an intellectual level. Remember, be blessed for what you have. Don't worry about what you don't have. Know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Be gentle to one another. I'm out.